Well, Bill Gates mentioned uh, manufactured antibodies, and he's definitely on the right track, I think. So what we're talking about now are antibodies that are used as a drug to treat the disease. We're not talking about the antibody test, which is a different matter. So right. um, manufactured antibodies, monoclonal antibodies, well, we, we have the ability to make lots of them, the different kinds. Uh, getting up to surge capacity is another issue entirely. But what are antibodies anyway? What, what are we talking about? Well, antibodies are these little tiny proteins that circulate in our blood. Uh, and the human blood is literally thick with antibodies. It's about 2% antibodies. And antibodies are these, these little proteins that are, um, they have a kind of a Y shape, but they have different shapes. They're like the teeth uh, of a key that fit into a lock. And if you can find an antibody, a particular shape of antibody that can stick to the coronavirus, it can kill the coronavirus. Now, um, people who are infected with coronavirus, your antibody system is incredibly powerful. And whenever you get infected with anything, your, your body begins manufacturing many different kinds of antibodies to respond to the challenge, to the, to the invader in your body. Um, and so people with coronavirus, they might have 500 or 1,000 different kinds of antibodies that your immune system is just throwing at that virus to see if something sticks, something will kill it. And then your immune system, um, you know, it can recognize the antibodies that are actually working against the virus and will make them in large quantities. So now how do we get from that to um, a manufacturing plant that's making these in quantity? Well, the way it's done is you get the blood of somebody who's survived coronavirus, and then you, you, you take out of that blood hundreds of different kinds of antibodies that might work on coronavirus. You test it out in test tubes and in mice. You find out the antibodies that really work, uh, and then you can purify them. And with a, a manufacturing plant that maybe costs a billion dollars, you can then begin to grow them in tanks, which are called bioreactors. And what you have left is an antibody drug and it looks like, it's amazing, it looks like water. It's actually purified water that has maybe two or three different kinds of antibodies dissolved in it. Um, this is called an antibody cocktail. And it is then given to a patient who is sick with coronavirus. If all works, if this, you know, there, there's many a slip between the cup and the lip, but a lot of different companies are working on this now. If it all works, the antibodies can you know, in principle, knock out the virus really fast. So this happened with Ebola. And uh, one company developed a drug. Uh, it was this little antibody cocktail, just water, you know, looks like water. And it's infused into a patient um, with a bag of saline solution. And the first patient who was given the antibody drug uh, was actively dying of Ebola. Now, this was Dr. Kent Brantley, an American. And uh, he was really in the throes of death when they began to administer the drug. And he turned around in 90 minutes. 90 minutes after he started getting the drug, he sat up in bed. He had not been able to move in three days. Uh, and he got out of bed and he said, I'd like to go to the bathroom. He went to the bathroom under his own power. So uh, these drugs, if they work, they can reverse, uh, they can reverse the disease with remarkable speed. They basically kill every virus particle in your body. Uh, now, um, uh, you know, but can we really do this at a large scale? That's a whole nother question. Uh, now, there's a company called Regeneron that is working on this, a number of companies. Um, but, you know, at best, um, if all goes well, maybe by August, we might have the ability to manufacture 100,000 200,000 uh, doses of an antibody drug. Now, that's not enough to treat everybody. So there's gonna, if this works, there's gonna be a big question, okay, who gets the drug? And, you know, it'll be healthcare workers, healthcare workers who are infected, patients who are really sick and could die, and the drug, 
you know, at best could save some lives, but it's not going to be an ultimate solution right away. Now, looking to the future, let's let's talk a little bit more about the next pandemic, because this is a process of nature that is going on right now. We're in the middle of a kind of viral storm. These storms come along. They're coming along more frequently because there are a lot more humans on the planet. And we're now crowded into these giant cities. You know, it's a perfect Petri dish for a new virus to get going. But in the future, um, we can hope that governments and companies will invest enough and do enough research so that we can have kind of ready-made platforms for antibody drugs and also for vaccines so that when the next pandemic comes along, um, we can respond more quickly, we can make more of the drug, right. um, we can get it to more people more quickly, and you know, we, can, we can damp down the effects of a right. pandemic this way.